Hey friends and welcome to the channel. I'm your dietitian Katie and today we are going to be taste testing all the yogurt alternatives that I could find in the store. And I am in for a treat today with all the yogurts that we're gonna be tasting. Um, some of them I have tried in the past, but it's honestly been a long time since I've tried any of the like different funky yogurts. And I'm very excited to get into the taste test today so I can kind of give you guys a feel for what alternative yogurts are worth it and which ones are not. We're gonna be ranking them on a scale of one to five, five being absolutely absolutely blow your mind, amazing, four, pretty good, three, not the best, not the worst, two, meh, and one is a hard pass. <laughs> so we'll be ranking them along the way so you can kind of get a feel for wh what my feelings are about each of these. And we're gonna start with a traditional Greek yogurt just to kind of have a baseline because if any of y'all researchers are out there you have to have something to compare the products to. You can't just try them on their own. So you have to have a, a baseline product. Now this one, I will admit, is one of the yogurts that I tend to grab in the store quite often. I also like Chobani, um, but I failed to get a Chobani for this video. And this does have you know, artificial sweetener in it, just a disclaimer. So no, it is not perfect, <laughs> unfortunately, but. None of us are perfect, so yogurt doesn't have to be either. You gotta stir it for the optimal flavor. Okay, this one's super creamy, really good flavor. It does have a little bit of that alternative sweetener kind of taste. So if that bothers you, I would recommend something like Chobani because they have sugar instead of your artificial sweetener. But you know, there are trade-offs with each and every type of yogurt. Chobani is gonna be higher in sugar, but no artificial sweetener. This one is lower in sugar, but you have the sweetener. So you win some, you lose some. Four are, what is the word I'm looking for? Four are control yogurt, because again, this is a dairy yogurt. It's just our baseline to compare the alternative yogurts to. Very creamy, good flavor overall, good nutrition profile. I would say we'll put the control at a five because I mean, what does everything else have to work up to if not a five? Good go-to Greek yogurt if you ask me. I'm a Danon girl. The next one is an almond milk yogurt. So this is silk almond milk peach yogurt. They didn't have, I didn't have like a consistent flavor to go with. I tried to go with all strawberry, but then not all of the brands had strawberry. So I have two peach and then two strawberry. Well. This one's strawberry banana. You get it, you get it. I'm sorry, I tried. This is like one of my first YouTube taste tests, so it's imperfect and we're okay with that. All right, so for the Silk Almond Milk Peach Yogurt, 180 calories per cup, 11 grams of fat, three grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. So with you know the almonds being a part of this yogurt, of course it's gonna have a higher fat content and it's gonna be lower in protein because instead of the protein coming from the dairy, the protein is coming from the almonds. So again, there are trade-offs, but let's see how it is flavor-wise. Ooh, I'm kind of scared. I don't dislike almond milk. I like almond milk actually, but sometimes like by itself, like I don't do it in like coffee and stuff like that. It just, I don't know. It's too almondy for me. So I will say right away, I'm not a huge fan of this texture already. Um, it's kind of, uh, I guess it's more comparable to traditional yogurt instead of Greek yogurt. So, you know, maybe it's a bad comparison for the texture, but I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So I warned you guys, I'm not huge on like a super strong almond flavor. I love almonds. I'm okay with almond milk, but I just don't want a gigantic almond slapping me in my face. This one is a, um, I think I'm gonna have to put this one as a hard pass. Initially, the flavor of peach is strong, but then you really get, again, slapped in the face with almond flavor. And I think you're really not gonna like it if you don't love, love that almond flavor. Just don't really, 
vibe with it in my yogurt, I guess. It's also a lot more expensive than traditional yogurt, so I don't like things going to waste, so maybe I'll just have it with trail mix or something else mixed in with it, granola. I could see it like maybe leveling out the flavor, not my thing on its own. So this next one actually does have dairy in it, so sorry to mislead you. All of these are non-dairy that we're gonna compare to the control, except for this one. It's like a super high protein one. So I thought it was really cool and worth trying on this taste test, especially since there's only so many dairy alternative yogurts. <laughs> I feel like all of these yogurts are like super packed because I live in Colorado and you know, when things go up the mountain, there tends to get a lot of air trapped in it. So sometimes you can have like things like explode in your face, you know, just one of the perks of being in Colorado. <laughs> but I haven't tried this one yet. So I'm kind of interested in trying it. If you have tried the Oikos triple zero, this is not the same thing as that. So this is a super high protein one. The main difference between this and the triple zero is that it doesn't have chicory root fiber in it. <laughs> so the other one, I love the triple zero yogurt personally taste wise, but it has chicory root. So my stomach gets really messed up after eating it and super, you know, like gassy and stuff like that. So I don't really prefer feeling that way <laughs> if I can avoid it. So yeah, so let's taste test this one. Mmm, I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of like ice cream, strawberry ice cream mixed with protein powder. That kind of is what this reminds me of. I will say like the protein taste is kind of like a, a delicate one, not an in your face one. Definitely not like the almond milk one. I think this is a really good one. It's not super sweet. It's not super proteiny and it's not really in your face. It's a very delicate strawberry flavor. And again, it kind of reminds me of ice cream. That's a good one. I'm probably gonna have that one later after this video. <laughs> so for the Oikos Pro, I'm gonna rate it as amazing because it's super good in my opinion. Okay, so next up on the list is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative and Strawberry Banana. So just a quick look at the Label, this one is 130 calories, four grams of fat, 24 carbs, 17 grams of sugar, two grams of fiber, and one or less grams of protein. So in a comparison with the other ones, definitely hardly any protein at all in this one. So I would say that is the main downside to this. So while it has a good amount of carbs and a tiny amount of fat to kind of, you know, keep it a balanced snack. I would definitely have this with something else, like maybe like a protein granola or something like that. So you can have that mix of carbohydrates and protein or carbs and fat, even a trail mix. I really love mixing trail mix in with my yogurts. <laughs> Let's see how much yogurt I get on myself after this video. Also, side note, I'm gonna eat one of these yogurts after I get done with this video, probably the protein one, but a very good pairing with any yogurt is these mini perfect bars that you can find at the store. They're in the refrigerated section. So, so good. I get them every time I go to the grocery store. Big fan. Okay, so for this one, definitely like a more light, yogurt flavor. It's These are not a very good comparison to, I guess, Greek yogurt. They're more of like a traditional, like thinner yogurt. So my bad, but this one looks like it has a pretty good texture to it, better texture than the almond milk. By the way, like yogurt is like the worst thing to eat on camera, I feel like, so yay me. This one is really, really good flavor wise. It's got a very strong strawberry banana flavor. There's like a small, I would say there's a very small aftertaste. Really, really, I think, hides the coconut flavor really well. So if you're worried about that, at least for this flavor, the strawberry banana, not really a crazy aftertaste. So no worries about that. I would recommend that one though. I'd say the only downside is just the protein. So if you can add anything to it that's protein rich or fat rich, then I think it would make it a little bit better and more balanced of a snack in general. So we're gonna rate this one as pretty good because it is pretty good. So, so far we're on two ends of the spectrum here, either really good or not good at all, <laughs> which is kind of what I expected with this taste test. <laughs> Getting yogurt all over me. 
Next one up is Silk Dairy Free Peach Mango. Again, I tried to get them all the same flavor, guys, but they did not have consistent flavors in the dairy alternatives and alternative yogurts. So this one is 120 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 12 grams of sugar, 17 carbs, and six grams of protein. So more protein than um, the coconut yogurt and also the almond milk yogurt, but less than traditional Greek yogurt. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I told you we're gonna get some yogurt all over the place today. So this one has soy milk as the main ingredient. So kind of consistent with the milks that you would see in the alternative dairy section of the store. So we have a good, you know, good blend of different types of yogurts here. This one texture wise is kind of reminding me of like in between the almond milk one and the coconut milk. So I will say I can taste the soy a little bit. Like if you're a fan of soy milk or if you've had it before, sorry, yogurt lip check. If you've had soy milk before and you don't mind the flavor, I think you'll really like this one. It's not a bad one, especially if you are dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant and you need a good alternative. This one's good. And I'd say it's probably better like nutritionally, like just in terms of having more protein and having like a moderate amount of sugar and it has fiber in there and a moderate amount of fat. I mean, I think it's probably the best alternative for Greek yogurt nutritionally. Nutritionally, do I like, is that like an actual word or am I just making that up? So if you're okay with soy and you really don't mind the flavor, then definitely try this one. But um, I think we're going to rate it as not the best, but not the worst. <laughs> so we have, we have one that's officially in between. Um, I don't love, love, love it, but I don't hate it by any means. I think it's literally like a solid three um, and it definitely could probably be elevated if it had granola, trail mix, or the perfect bar, snack bar that I mentioned. Um, definitely could see it being a little bit tastier, even more so with something to pair it with versus just having it on its own. All right, so what did you think of today's taste test? Are you interested in having me taste test other products or different lineups of things? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you and know what you'd like to see in the future. I wanna do these videos so it can be a fun way to see what foods are out there and what's worth trying, what's not, and just give us a chance to look and get a glimpse of the nutrition and how it compares to traditional stuff. Cause there's so many different products out there that tout themselves as being super healthy. And sometimes they're quite the opposite or they're not as healthy as just getting the traditional regular option. I did a similar review and taste test of the oats overnight oatmeal. So I will link to that video if you'd like to watch it right here. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.